Hello and welcome to another day here. I am in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, home of the headquarters actually in Brookfield, Wisconsin of Milwaukee Tools, home of your favorite power tool brand, here to showcase the latest and greatest at the New Product Symposium 2019. We'll check it out, see what's coming. I'm going to show you as much as I can. You get to see what's available uh, for a few items and what's to be coming in the ne in the near future. Also, there's going to be another launch with uh, other couple of items that I can't disclose right now coming November 1st, which I will then upload another video showcasing all of them. So sit back and relax and enjoy what's to come while I do all the work for you. The mission at Milwaukee Tool is really simple. It's to deliver unrivaled productivity for the core trades, and none are more at the forefront than the plumber, the mechanical contractor, that pro drain cleaner. Now we accomplish this mission in two ways, the first of which is advancing our core technologies faster than anyone in the world. And today you're going to see the newest on M18. And with all the M18 fuel products, now that we've surpassed what you can get out of the standard breaker for an AC tool, it means for the first time the plumber mechanical contractor can thread two inch stainless steel can cut reinforced concrete and that pro drain cleaner can go all the way out to the sewer on the M18 pack. And it begs the question of what previously impossible task is M18 going to take on next? Second way we achieve this mission is through thoughtful design. Because when you're willing to dive into a problem, not a tool category, but a problem that your readers and your followers see all the time, you can take a 360 degree view of that problem what comes before, what comes after. So when you take connecting pipe, there's a reason we didn't make the torch tip better for sweat and solder. Well, I'm extremely excited to talk to you guys today about our new M18 Fuel 9-inch cutoff saw with one key. So this tool just shows how Milwaukee continues to be a solutions provider while staying completely compatible with our M18 line and leaving no users behind. This tool is going to have the power to cut reinforced concrete as well as a variety of other materials such as uh, cinder block, rebar, PVC, cast iron, and even ductile iron. And this saw will have none of the gas headaches of the traditional gas saw. Since it emits no fumes, it can be used in tight spaces, um, in basements, to cut sewer lines, uh, anywhere where you wouldn't be able to use a gas saw. It also has an overload indicator light to coach users into the optimal cutting speed, as well as an um, onboard water delivery system to meet OSHA compliance when cutting concrete. The battery is stored in this compartment, and as it can work with any of our M18 batteries, it will be kitted with our M18 high output 12 amp hour battery. We've seen material get damaged. We've seen those installers threading in place on a six inch, a six foot ladder or a boom lift get put in a really bad situation. Now Milwaukee's gonna solve that concern around tool control three unique ways. The first way we're gonna do it is through auto stop. Auto stop allows us to monitor the performance of the tool so that when it starts to bind up in those really tough applications like two inch, and it's gonna shut off the power making sure that that installer isn't going to be put in that really tough spot. is going to be through our support arm. Now the support arm gives us two unique benefits. The first one is you're going to notice how it's going to hold this tool onto that pipe and it's going to make sure that when it is put in those tough scenarios like threading two inch pipe, it's going to hold onto that tool and not let it kick. So we're going to be delivering up to 25 two inch threads in black iron pipe, stainless, galvanized but also we're going to be delivering the fastest portable threader on the market and we're able to do that with our two-speed selector here. 
So on your smaller sizes, you're gonna be able to thread in high speed, like half inch, three quarter inch, one inch. And then when you get into those more demanding, higher torque applications, you're gonna bring that speed down. What is it that those mechanical contractors, those pipe fitters, those steam fitters, those plumbers, find most important in the press tools that they use? Size. A lot of different things. All of these <laughs> great answers. We tried to put ourselves in the shoes of the contractors and look through the eyes of the installers to understand exactly how they needed to use these tools and what they needed to use them for. We did that with the sole intent of really hitting on their needs and giving them exactly what they wanted. 2019, our very own line of rings and adapter jaw that will unlock the capability for your followers, our installers, to press all the way up to four inch black iron pipe and stainless steel. All on a tool that's already part of our platform. Introducing the IPS XL ring kit. Sizes two and a half inch all the way up to four inch. No longer are the days where the installers are gonna be forced into wielding that torch and having to weld on, pa on pipe two and a half inch and up. Thank you. Welding, it's a skill. It takes a lot of talent and it takes a lot of time to get very good at it. We understand. Normal press tool, right? Unfortunately, this press tool ran out of capability and didn't have the force to press those two and a half up to four inch fittings. So, what happened is they had to release a, um, an accessory, an expensive accessory that would pair with this to unlock those two and a half up to four inch sizes. Do you guys know what that looks like? It's bulky, it's heavy, it takes a strap to use. Now, I can't say I've done a ton of presses myself, but I'm not sure this is something that uh, I wanna be up on a ladder with, working with over my head all day, every day. But I'll leave that up to you guys. We wanted to make sure that we could provide the lightest the most inline and the quickest solution in the market. So with our Force Logic long throw press tool, we're doing just that. Take your adapter jaw, it's gonna come standard with every single kit, drop it right into your long throw press tool, there's your solution. I'll show exactly how it works. Take the four inch ring, let's go over here. Take the ring, Make sure it's aligned. Take our long throw tool, which has a head, swivels 180 degrees, so you can get that perfect grip. Take it. Pop it right in. Press and hold. completes the press in one cycle. The only other solution on the market today takes you how many presses? Two. two. Bare minimum two, and if temperature conditions are not right, it's gonna take you all the way up to three presses. Now that's only for the long throw press tool, correct? This, that is correct. So this IPS XL ring kit will only be compatible with the long throw press tool, but this long throw press tool will give you not only that two and a half up to four inch capability, but we'll be able to utilize every other M18 jaw. Everything all the way down to those pack sizes that we talked about earlier. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna take this, this pin, we'll shorten the stroke to make it quicker and easier to use this just as you would the standard M18 Force Logic press tool. I'll run the ram up. Drop in the pin, take the sleeve, and we'll take, this is just, this is a stainless steel M18 jaw. Drop it in, there you go. It's the same thing. One tool that will unlock the capability to do the largest fittings on the market. Look at this thing. There it is. 
Can you hear me on the... Yes. Yeah. This year, we're excited to take the innovation that we brought to that drain cleaning category with the first phase of products in suite out to the sewer with the M18 fuel uh, sewer sectional with cable drive. Now, who's familiar with sectional machines? Awesome. So for sectional machines, they're fed down the line in 15-foot sections of either 7 eighths or 8 and a quarter cable. And with these machines, there's a little bit of more process that goes into it than a drum machine because you're feeding in those sections instead of continuously feeding the cable. The power to clear those tough roots at the max capacity of the machine, which is 200 feet. Now with these machines, as I mentioned before, they are, they're utilized two different cable diameters. And this will be the first machine on the market to automatically adjust between those two cable diameters. So no matter what you have in here, this is going to clamp on it. You don't have to worry about changing out clutch settings or clutch jaws. This machine will automatically adjust to those different cable diameters. With this machine, we'll also launch a line of 7 eighths and inch and a quarter standard duty cables, as well as inch and a quarter heavy duty cables, and the cable head accessories to clear those sewer lateral lines. This machine, all I have to do is turn this front collar from the spin mode, which it's in right now, to the auto feed mode. Make sure my sheet machine is in reverse. We can now give that technician the ability to pull back that cable without introducing all that strain to the operator. And you're going to throw your machine in reverse. See so your forward off reverse is right here. Push all the way back. Nice. There you go. Arrows for easy understanding yeah. there. That'll pull this machine first. Yeah. I see, so I gotta yeah, put my just, foot on it. Yeah, if you really push out on it. Give it a push. And that's definitely heavy. He is absolutely dedicated to delivering solutions that make your readers safer and more productive on the job site every single day. And you see that through a long history of innovation. Simplifying the application for the user with less force or less repetitions extending their day. Or okay. So glasses are obviously a core piece of personal safety. Anytime a user is using their power tool or hand tool, they should be using safety glasses along with it. It's mandatory on the job site. And when we talk to users, they tell us that they need a couple things from their glasses. First and foremost is protection. That's anti to the game. There's no compromise there. You have to deliver the performance for protection. But a lot of users tell us they're actually looking for other things as well. They need comfort. They need style. These are going to be on their face all day long. So we're going to enter this category this year with six new safety glasses. These are three different styles of glasses, each available in clear and tinted models. Now the top of the line will be our flagship, the uh, high performance glasses with a removable gasket. Our high performance glasses on a mannequin. And we're going to hit these with a high velocity projectile. So if you directly into the lens of those glasses. Here it comes. Remember when Kruger did, took a shotgun to some safety glasses? That lens is dented. It did not crack, it did not break. That would have kept the user completely safe. But this is going to make sure that the user has better protection to keep them safe and keep them on the job. 
here we have a steamer and we will hit several glasses with it. You will see how the competition steams up. These Milwaukee glasses though, I can leave these on for an extended period of time. Wow. Probably right. the We've noticed a common trend talking to superintendents, talking to foremen, safety directors, and all of our core users on the job site. So a lot of frustrations within the hard hat space and a relatively stagnant market that hasn't changed in the past 100 years. So a common trend that we've seen, has anybody here had an issue with headlamps falling off or they're having to zip tie them down? With not having the accessories you need, whether it be carpenter pencils, ink saws, feeling they'll snap into your hard hats? Combined with the not being able to have all the compatibility with accessories, whether it be face shields, earmuffs, a headlamp, all in one hard hat. Well, today I'm excited to introduce to everybody our Milwaukee hard hat with our bolt accessory system. What this does is it'll include a front brim as well as a full brim hard hat in both vented class C for temperature reduction as well as class E for electrical work. And the common theme that I've heard today is about headlamps. Now, headlamps have two issues. You're either using the accessory slots that are available today, which usually come as two universal slots, zip tying them down to make sure your headlamp doesn't fall off. So as you can see, it stays secure. You don't have to zip tie these headlamps down. See here with this mannequin, it is fully decked out, loaded, on steroids, 15 pockets deep. Everything you need on a daily basis with all your hand tools, accessories, and safety equipment. We've got it a dual-sided, Easily accessible with zipper closure. It has a pocket so you can carry your tablet storage on the go. That way, no matter what happens, you're able to have that easy accessible tablet. Same one pouch with two sides with zippers that way you can close to your left handed or right handed. Easy access. Now you have your identification readily available, which is why we've integrated a Queer ID pocket with a Velcro opening and closure with an additional pocket underneath. That way you can keep any of your personal belongings. What we've done from a comfort standpoint is we've added a padded collar, especially in those hot summer days. And I know a lot of our core end users and your followers wear fall protection. So rather than having to cut a hole through your vest, we have a fall protection pass through right here. That way when you're getting yanked out by your fall protection, you have a comfortable padded collar and have an easy pass through for it. All right, cool. Yeah, that's Never mind. So we're okay. So with this one in particular, because of the Skynet stuff. It's just Skynet. Very bright. So it's meant to be hardwired on your truck, is what he said. But you do get the option, right? Oh. Yeah, okay. So you can't put your batteries. Okay. It's not, it's battery only. What? This isn't for anything at the moment, but it no, can be hardwired. You, yes, hardwired to your truck's battery. Got it. Okay. Did they? 
By the end of this year, we will have over 20 different solutions, all of which work with the Packout system. That makes us the largest storage system in the world. All again, focused on your viewers and readers and our users and making them more productive, more organized and safer on the job site every single day. But the most exciting thing about all that is, we are just getting started. Over the past year and a half, we have hired multiple more engineers more designers. Later today, you'll meet some of our new product managers on the Packout storage team. All again, investing in the future of Packout and investing in more solutions that we're going to provide year after year to those Packout users. The first product, one that we previewed last year, Packout mounting plate, is real and it is going to be on the market in August. Some of the key things with this mounting plate. Really wanted to make sure this would live up to that brand promise of being the most versatile and most durable in the industry. Some of the key things you'll see on this plate, every single hole reinforced with metal that is actually molded into the plastic, meaning they cannot come out and it will survive the long haul in the back of a truck, trailer, van, shop, you name it. We knew to be that full storage solution provider, we needed to provide an excellent option for those users working indoors in shops, as well as warehouses like the one that we're in today. With the launch of the Packout Dolly in July, we're excited to say we have a solution. Whenever you're loading a dolly up with heavy boxes, tools, appliances, and things like that, it tends to roll away from you while you're putting stuff on it. So with the quick stop loading lever, you simply need to step down and you can take the toolboxes off and place them back on without the dolly rolling away from you. We also have casters that can spin freely, which will they also have locks in the front, so if you're working away from your stack, you need to make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. All you got to do is step down and you're good to go. Durability was also a concern as competitive units that we saw. A product that we've gotten requests for since Paco was first launched and we're super excited to talk to you about today, the world's fanciest milk crate, <laughs> yes. the Paco crate. So right off the bat, you're going to notice a couple different things or unique things that really make it the most versatile and durable crate in the marketplace. We're going to have cleats on the bottom as well as receivers on the top. And what this allows for is for users to place this anywhere in their packout stack, not limited to just the top. They can place toolboxes, organizers, as well as any other full width packout products on top of the crate. You can even stack crates up so you can easily transport your belongings around. We're going to be dropping a 30 pound weight onto a competitive unit to see how it holds up. One second. <laughs> as we can see, didn't hold up too well. We're going to run that same test back on the packout dolly or the packout crate. What is that, Tupperware? And as you can see, still functional. We're going to provide that best in class durability for our users. That we are going to be launching three SKUs uh, this year that utilize the packout system um, with our power tool accessories. So the first one actually launched in March of this year, so this is available now, which is our 10-piece bimetal hole dozer kit. Um, this will have hole saws from inch and a half up to four and a quarter with all of your pilot bits, arbors, everything you need nicely packed into our compact packout organizer. Um, not only is this great for people who are already into the packout system, but it's also going to help get them into the packout system, right? So there's so many other solutions out there that now they'll have access to. And again, this one is available now. Next, we've got our 101 piece Shockwave Impact Driver Bit Set. So I'm sure you guys have stopped by accessories. You learned all about our new Shockwave 3.0 bits. Um, so we're excited to launch this along with that. Um, again, this will have 101 pieces in it. I'm so excited to finally introduce to you all the M18 Radio Plus Charger, fully compatible with the Packout system. This is going to be the ultimate job site sound system. We want to make sure that as users continue to move around the packout system, their experience is not compromised. Therefore, we included two different kinds of speakers. We have a full range speaker and a high frequency speaker. Those are going to cover all of your mids and highs. These speakers are very directional, so we place them on every single corner of this packout radio. These eight speakers alone are very loud. 
And although volume is important to our users, so is quality and range. So we built this with two subwoofers. We have an active and a passive to give you that awesome base. Now, as part of the central hub for our users, we had to include charging. We have a built-in six-foot cord so that you can keep your M18 batteries charged up all day long. We have additional onboard storage so that you can charge your phone via our 2.1 amp USB out. You can place up to 100 pounds of weight on top, whether that be additional pack out storage or fallen tool. Complete with rubber overmold around all the speakers, this radio is IP54 rated for water and dust protection. So when you use our bottle opener at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Like I said, if you want to use it in any of this stuff. <laughs> Nailed it. Where it actually tells you which way it goes. What's the ramp up time there? Seems like it's Jam it in. It's so quiet. That's so quiet. Yeah, very smooth. Very impressive. I need right. that. Yeah, I know. It's so nice. M12. M12 surge. So I'm gonna run a couple of GRKs. Oh, there it is. 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 Oh,
Man, it's so quiet. So it's maybe just one forty nine. One yeah, one forty nine for the bear tool. tool. One ninety nine with a kit, two two O's in the kit. Dude, you can't beat that. That's, that's a yeah, bear tool that's all day. Yeah. Gen two M twelve impact on high, full battery, surge, what? M twelve on Mode three, uh, he goes, I go, he goes, I go, and you can he just hear the difference. Me go, you go. Yep. So we've seen a comparison of noise difference in wood. I want to do one in sheet metal. I think you oh, did. Yeah. Did you? Uh, it barely no, even we just, hammered. We just raced a little bit. Yeah, yeah I need some longer, that. thicker metal. Yeah, that's it. We got the M Milwaukee M12 Surge, brand new to market. We got the Gen 2 M12 uh, Impact Driver. It's been on the market for what? A little while. Yeah, Probably a little while. A year or so, but whatever. Been waiting this, waiting for this M12 Surge for so ever since the M18 version came out. So. I yeah, hardly heard that. We need... So you get the difference of the noise comparison? Right? Huge, huge difference. Awesome. Haven't made my point clear. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys... I I'm gonna leave this up to you. Do you guys want Q&A? Or do you want more? More? <laughs> Here's the deal. We shut off live streaming right now. I'm turning off the internet. Before we go any further, we're going to have you sign some paperwork. I'm going to lay out the rules really clearly. We want you to capture content, video and photography, over the next couple of hours. But it cannot be live because you may not post it until November. When we think of our business, we don't think of ourselves as a power tool company or an accessory company or a hand tool company. We think of ourselves as a solution provider, and that's very different.